Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's new moon reading. Um, <clears throat> the new moon is upon us. It is tomorrow? Tomorrow or today? Tonight? I don't know. <laughs> it's one of these days. Um, Monday, probably. I think it's Monday. Um, but we are going to be talking about um, new beginnings and what you are shedding to set yourself free from. Those are the vibes of new moon. Um, so anytime the new moon is around, um, you may feel the need to kind of purge and get rid of things that are no longer serving you. Um, you might be feeling like you're doing cleaning house, whether it's literal or um symbolic for cleaning house around you with negative people and you know all those kind of things but regardless the new moon is upon us so your reading is going to be a four card spread um, I am going to be working with the crystal visions tarot and the affirmation magic and manifestation affirmation cards so I'm going to be pulling a single card from the oracle deck as spirits message and then three cards from the crystal visions tarot so to begin I'm going to shuffle um, while I shuffle I like to tune in to see what's coming through and then we'll begin your reading so sit, sit back and enjoy <laughs> And we're just going to be focusing on your um, new beginnings. What you should be starting fresh. What you should be getting rid of. I also like to use the guidebook for the affirmation cards because there are some nice little messages that come with it. So I'm going to be using that. But basically the oracle card is going to act as spirit's message for you to tie in the whole reading. And I'm hearing to read it first. So I'm going to pull this one and we're going to start with this one first. Okay, so usually the spirit message is the last reading in the in the spread, but I'm going to do it first because that's what they want to do. And you receive beauty. So the beauty card has a bunch of flowers. Flowers are beauty. So let's see what this message is all about. This is number 30. I think it's the last card, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Beauty is everything in our world, in the colors, sounds, smells of nature, in the smile of a newborn baby, the tenderness of lover's embrace, in the harmony, harmonies of melodies of music, and in the stars of the night sky. If you've pulled Beauty card, you are being reminded that your own beauty, you too are a part of creation, no matter how small or ordinary you might feel. Celebrate the world around you and give thanks for being a part of it all. So... This message I feel for you is a message that you needed to hear because you haven't been feeling quite part of the group, part of the, you know, part of the world. You haven't felt like you had a huge, big, significant purpose. Um, you've just kind of been floating along. Maybe you feel like you're always blending in with the crowd, that kind of thing. And I feel like the beauty card is your little gentle reminder that you do matter that you have lots of beauty within you. It's just not your time to shine vibrant. There are, there will be a moment, there will be a moment for you to shine vibrant, but it's just not right now. So I feel like this new moon is going to be more of a gentle energy. I feel like it's just more so for you to embrace your own personal beauty 
and to just kind of be able to sit comfortably with the fact that, you know, you, you are accepted and you are important in this world. It's just some people's purposes scream louder than others. And it doesn't mean that you don't have one. It just, I feel like it means it's just not time right now for you to have one. So the tarot card, the first one we got is the current energy of this new moon. And you got the devil. So I do feel like definitely with the devil card coming up, especially now that we see the message of beauty, I feel like the devil card for you is saying um, that you've been tempted. You've been feeling a little kind of not so happy, not so maybe not so happy or negative vibes around you. You've just had that little kind of like that little voice in the back of your mind that's been telling you, you know, you're not experiencing what so-and-so is going through. So you're not legit or you're, you're fake or you're not good enough or you're not special enough because you're not experiencing the same things that so-and-so is, you know. So I really feel like that is what's been going on around you and you needed to hear that, no, that's not the case. It's just... Um, it's not your time to be going through these crazy spiritual awakenings and things like that. You know, everyone has it in their own time, especially if you are involved in your spiritual path more so than other people. Um, but everyone has a purpose. It's just sometimes your purpose doesn't come as obvious as others. It's, it's just one of those things. But I feel like you have had like the bad, the negative whispering around you, um, thoughts, random thoughts that'll pop up in your mind that makes you second guess and doubt your own special um, purpose in this world. <laughs> so um, the next card we have is where your intention and focus should be on this new moon. And you have the page of swords. So number one, I want to say page of swords um, is getting a hold of your mental clarity. So I feel like Page of Swords is all about really learning to fight back with your thoughts. I feel like you struggle a lot with negative thinking. I feel like you struggle a lot with um, doubting yourself and doubting your abilities as far as your mind goes. I feel like you are not so nice to yourself when it comes to your thoughts. Your thoughts are very um, negative um, at times and they bring you down. So I feel like what you need to... Um, your focus and what your attention should be is your thoughts. And I feel like the only way you're going to be able to do this is by one, surrounding yourself with a positive light as a barrier. Um, it's like a barrier, a protection. So she's holding the sword, obviously, as protection. She, she has a bunch of the crows flying around her, which I feel is symbolic for you as your negative thoughts. These crows are <clears throat> pecking away at her. But I feel like... Um, if you surround yourself with a white light of protection, for one, these negative thoughts will have a barrier that they have to fight through before they can actually get through to you. So waking up in the morning, that should be the first thing that you do, even before you get out of bed, is imagining a white light surrounding you. So I think you should start this technique every morning, starting tomorrow or today, if you watch this video, you know, today. Um, imagining the white light surrounding you as a protection barrier um, to keep away those negative thoughts and, and even people that are causing you to think that way. You know, sometimes it could be successful people that just cause us to think negatively about ourselves. Um, you know, and it's just human nature. We get jealous. We are envious, that kind of thing. Um, but that's not a way to live. That's that you should not be so hard on yourself. You are very special. Um, the third card is, or the fourth card, um, what needs to be set free? So this is what you need to let go of. This is the, this is the new moon here and what you need to let go of the four of wands. So letting go of, and which is really interesting because four of wands is typically a card of stability. I feel like this is, um, letting go of your hold on other people. Like I said earlier, you allow other people, there's there's certain people that maybe get you to think negatively about yourself and about your your life and your life purpose because they're going through certain things and you're not. Um, typically, this is a positive card. I feel like this is a card of aid. It looks like he's there helping her um, or guiding her on the horse. Um, but I feel like what you need to do is let go of your thoughts that are um, holding you back from loving yourself and holding you back from seeing your own true purpose and your beauty in life. Stop comparing yourself to other people's successes. Stop comparing yourself to other people's paths. Everyone's spiritual path is different for a reason. Um, yours is 
going to be there or it is already there, but maybe you're just not paying enough attention to it. But it does not follow the same way or the same direction or, or the same mapping as someone else's. Everyone's spiritual path is different. Um, so I feel like you have to kind of fight that, fight the crows, <laughs> get away from it, um, and, and don't rely so much on, you know, observing other people. You know, you can allow people to help you through this journey, but I feel like you this is something you need to do on your own. So coming into your own power. We have a sword. We have the wands. Um, we don't have a pentacle, which is the grounding card. So I feel like the lack of pentacle and the lack of cups, which is our emotions, tells me that you are not grounded and you are emotionally um, emotionally triggered by these things. So I feel like with the pages, well, I mean, sorry, with the swords and the wands cards coming up, um, it's other people's successes that are getting to your mind. So I feel like that's, that's what's going on here. That's what your focus should be. This new moon, nothing big and bad is going to make, you know, take place. It's, it's not going to be this huge major awakening this week, this week. It's simple as cutting out those negative thoughts. Don't let them get to you. Um, and embracing your beauty because you do have it and you have a purpose in this life. It's just um, you, you, you're in your mindset. I feel like you're thinking it has to match what other people are going through. And that's not the case. So that is the message here for you with your new moon. Thank you so much for purchasing this reading with me. If anyone is interested, this reading is available in the shop. Check the, check the links in the description box. They will take you there. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.